Hey everybody, Eddie Gunks here, talking about more camera equipment. Thanks for coming by. Uh, today I'm going to talk about Graphmatic film holders. Uh, they're the six pack kinds of film holders. Um, while I was preparing to talk about this, I realized that I was going to have to talk about uh, several different kinds of, of uh, film holders. Uh, these are all 4x5 film back holders. Um, if you look here, there's a little X, okay? Uh, that means that you've shot all six sheets of film. There's a locking lever here, so you can't pull the thing out by accident. You can't pull the, the dark slide out. Okay, so this allows you to pull the dark slide, which won't, which won't move unless you have this on number one. And there's a little, let me see, there's a little locking tab here as well. Okay, so if you go all the way through all this stuff, there's six, and then watch the lever here. You see this? As I'm going to set, I'm going to X, it's closing this little lever down. Okay, so you need to put this on one when you're ready to shoot. This lever pops open, and you pull on this uh, uh, dark slide. Uh, if you have your lock on, this lock, and you pull on the dark slide, well, I lied. If you have that lock on and you pull on the dark slide, you have to push this piece here, and it will release the entire pack. Okay, so, when you want to operate this, you turn the lock off, have this on number one, and this lever comes out. What you do is you pull the slide all the way out like this and then you just push it back in okay now obviously if this was on the camera you know you wouldn't be seeing this this would be inside the camera so there's a little wheel down here that tells you what number film you're on that changes as well I don't particularly like that because that little wheel always sticks into my frame because I frame it too tight but okay, so that's that. That'd be ready to take a picture. The little red dots here. You snap the photo. After you're done shooting your photo on your camera, you push this button down, okay, and pull the whole box. Okay, the whole box is coming out. And then what happens is that piece of film drops to the bottom, and you push this back in. Okay, you flip it back over, and this is the way you see it. That little red thing is gone, so that means that it's safe to remove the back from your camera, so you're not going to expose a sheet of film. The number automatically changes to number two. Now, as a safety, this little lever was stuck on. So you would have to, what you have to do is push the button in, and then you can pull it back out, close it again, the red button's back out, that means your film is ready to be exposed when you trip your shutter. Here it is, okay. Now again, you push this button down, you pull the whole unit out, and you push the whole unit back in. As you can see, the number three came up and the little red dot disappeared, okay. And again, you'll notice that this little button is locked down on your, on your uh, uh, loop. So if you pull the loop out, what happens is if you make a mistake and pull the loop out, nothing happens. Your film is not exposed accidentally. Okay? So, also, you have this lock to make sure you don't expose your film uh, accidentally. But the lock doesn't work unless you push the loop back in. And that releases this spring. So it's kind of like if you're not paying attention at first, then you don't make a mistake. But if you push it in, then you have an ability to lock it so you don't mess up your film. So if you watch this button right here, I push it in, pops back open. Now, if I wanted to lock it, I could lock it. And then if I pulled this by accident, well, it wouldn't even go by accident because I have to push this lever down like we just discussed. Okay? So even if we pulled that lever down and pulled it out, it wouldn't expose your film. Okay? Because this little lock here is on. So you turn that little lock off, and you just cycle your way through. It's very simple, it's very easy to use, and it's quite handy. Some people like them, some people hate them. Okay, and that's the cycle through all of them. You're back to X. This 
is a Graphmatic film holder. It has six septums inside of it, and it's number 1268. Okay, number 1268 means that it will fit any standard back from your camera. This is a Chamonix 4x5 I got for demonstration purposes. If you look, this thing will fit right in there just like that. It just pops right underneath your ground glass, no problem. All right. Uh, I'm going to take this opportunity to talk about a couple of different styles of a what's known as a graph lock back okay these the Chamonix camera has little fangs that you tilt down here okay you put them down and then you could shoot the cam you could shoot the film without the ground glass being on there it's being held on by the little groove that's inside the graphmatic so to remove that you just pop these little fangs back up and you can remove the holder okay um, that holder is the same if you wanted to use a 2-3 adapter again you just put that on there whack your little fangs down and you're good to go alright so that these are called graph lock backs okay most modern 4x5 cameras can take a graph lock back here's another one made by Linhoff. All goes on the same way. It's got a little uh, little way to catch the light trap here. So it would go like this. And it looks like it's upside down to me, but what do I know about anything? That's how it goes on there. Okay. Uh, obviously if that was upside down, all you'd have to do would be to turn your film holder over, or I'm sorry, your film back over, and then you'd be okay. So, a little off track, that's a graph lock back. Graph lock backs are different than a regular uh, holders, okay? So, I'll pop my ground glass back on here. Well, I'm used to doing it the other way, but I'll just flip it over, slide it on, and we're back, we're back in business. I prefer... I prefer my stuff to load the other way, so I'll, I'm going to switch her back. Okay, uh, again, this holder will pop right underneath most every ground glass on modern cameras. Some of them it won't work on, it works on most of them. Okay, now, to muddle it up a little bit, there also is a graphic film holder that's for the... Graphlex cameras, the SLR style cameras. Okay, if you see this ridge right here, that ridge sticks out, so it will not fit on a regular back. You cannot get it in. It sticks out. And it's too big. Hey, okay? won't go in. All right, it's made for a gra Graphlex camera. Okay, if you notice the film, if you notice, if you can see this. You can see it sticks out. This little piece is sticking out. Okay, those, these are 1168 Graphmatics. They work exactly the same way as the other one, but they fit on the SLR style camera. Here's an SLR style Graphlex camera. They're beautiful cameras. They got the sh curtain shutter in there, but all you do is you set them on there like that. Okay. That's the difference. This is an 1168. They're not very. They're not as common as the other ones. So be careful when you're buying them for your regular cameras. You don't want to have that little knob sticking out. These these Graphlex cameras require a film holder that has a notch in it. Okay. So these notches will fit right in the camera as well. Okay. So that's. Again, these are special ones just for the Graphlex SLR cameras. And they also have a film back that fits on there. And this holds like 16 pieces of film. So, just wanted to tell you that so you wouldn't get them confused on which one is which. Uh, they are different. Um, one last thing I forgot to show you was when you want to unload and load your film, you push it here, this little button, you pull this out. 
and then you push that in and there you go there is your six septums they come out here they are six of them you want to be sure that these are flat they're not bent they're not beat up these look pretty good a lot of times they bend on the corners these are a little bit bent the key is when you're using these septums if it doesn't work real easy don't force them because you'll break them so I hope that helps you identify the different Graphmatics holders. Thanks for coming by. It was nice to have you stop in. Check back again soon. I'll have some more stuff. Thanks, and have a good day. See ya.